Hello and welcome to yet another lesson from English Essentials with IAK. I'm your host Israr Ahmed Khan and today's class is on conditionals. Now, conditionals show an action is reliant on something else. They talk about real or unreal situations. Sometimes they are called if clauses. Real conditional describes real life situations. Situations. So we move on. Conditional sentences are composed of two parts. If clause plus main clause. If it rains tomorrow, we will put on our we will put on raincoats. The order of the two clauses is flexible. For example, you can say I, I can either say I'll stay at home if it rains or if it rains, I'll stay at home. There are two types of real conditionals. First conditional and zero conditional. Uh, first conditional is likely, uh, speaks about some things that is likely to happen. We use if, unless, present, future. If I study, I'll pass. Unless I study, I won't pass. Then in zero conditional, we speak about fact, uh, facts. So it is factual. We can say, if or when water reaches 100 degrees, it boils. Zero conditionals. It is used to uh, talk about things that are always true or factual. Scientific facts, general or universal truths. Uh, if you expose phosphorus to air, it burns. So you see, present simple, present simple. Uh, here are examples and illustrations. Uh, okay, if hobbies are, uh, if babies are hungry, they cry. People, number two, people die if they don't eat. Number three. If people eat too much, they get fat. Then we move to the next slide. This is a continuation of the previous one. You get water if you mix hydrogen and oxygen. Number five, snakes bite if they are scared. Number six, if you touch fire, you get burned. So having completed this, we move on to the practice section. Make zero conditional sentences from the given groups, groups of words. Here are five groups of words. Number one, I slash wake up late slash I slash be late for work. So like this, you know, you can complete, you can uh, stop the video and um, do this exercise, which is followed by the answers. So here are the answers. If I wake up late, I'm late for work. If my husband cooks, he burns the food. If Julie doesn't wear a hat, she gets sunstroke. If children don't eat well, they aren't healthy. If you mix water and electricity, you get a shock. Okay, then we move on to the first conditional. Uh, first conditional talks about situations which are very likely to happen. It gives uh, advice and instructions. It suggests something which is unlikely to happen. It may also talk about the result of a situation which is just a possibility and it also talks about present decisions 
based on future abilities. So here are the possible sentence structures. Um, if plus simple present plus will, both conditions and result are very likely to happen. If John gets a good grade, he will study medicine. If he fails his exams, he will not go abroad. Then in the second case, if plus simple present plus imperative, this is a way of giving advice or instructions. For example, if you feel tired, drink a cup of tea. If you can't wake up by an alarm clock, if you see my wife, tell her I'll be late for dinner. Then in the third case, if plus should plus imperative, in this way we can suggest that something is unlikely to happen or is not particularly probable. For example, if you, sh if you should s run into Peter, tell him he owes me a letter. Then uh, in the next slide, we have two more. Um, if plus simple present plus may, the result of uh, the condition is just a possibility. For example, if we go to writing workshop, we may not get time to shop. Or if we don't give them directions, they may get lost. And finally, we have uh, if plus simple present plus can or would. Uh, we use uh, this form uh, when we make present decisions about future ability. Otherwise, we use will be able to. For example, if I don't have enough time today, I can wash your car tomorrow. So with this, we come to a, another session of practice. But this time, you know, I haven't given you the answers. I want you to write your answers in the comment box. Here's the first one. Um, he's thinking of going to England. So what do you have to do? You have to make a conditional sentence based on this situation. If he goes to England, he will have to learn English. So similarly, we have uh, number two, he expects to pass his exams. Number three is uh, do not drop that vase. Number four, is my father has suggested that I change my job. Number five, you will be late for the class. Number six, it looks the weather will be fine tomorrow. So with this, uh, we come to the end of uh, today's uh, video lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching English Essentials with IAK. Take a good care of yourselves and wait for another video.